This is Jessica Michaud for the International Herald Tribune and the New York Times at the Paris Fashion Week. I'm in central Paris at the Trillery Gardens for the 10th anniversary show of Sofia Kokosalaki. The 36-year-old Greek designer continues to explore the draping and pleating techniques she has become famous for over the past decade, but this time with a harder edge. What was inspiring this very strong show with chainmail, with dark pieces, with a beautiful pleating, of course? Can you tell Thank me a little bit? I brought the, I noted some things I like to do in the past, but uh, you know, in a, in a discreet way, in a, in a little way, I brought them back. Uh, regarding the embroidery, it is a very intense, very labor-intensive embroidery, but because I don't feel it's the time for bling, you know, I try to oxidize, I oxidize and give the impression of decay and a tarnished image as much as possible. In the process, you make something beautiful and then you tarnish it a little bit. And it's not about status, the broider. It's just about uh, appreciating the, the craftsmanship aspect of them, you know, the artisanal side. Um, speaking of organizing and planning, you, you recently started showing in Paris in relationship to London. Do you really have to bring your A game to Paris, or what's the difference between showing in London and Paris? Hey, in London, you're more impulsive, you're more uh, <laughs> relaxed. It's just less stressful. No, it's also more, you can be more experimental. More things are forgiven. The expectations are not as high. In a way, it's like you're a grown-up when you're in Paris. But London is great because I would never have started, you know, if it wasn't for London, because they give to new designers so many opportunities that nobody else does in this in this way. They literally jump on a new person to help, you know, in any possible way and bring the work to to, to give them a chance. So, I'm grateful, but after a point, you have to a little bit, uh, for your own stimulation also, you have to try to make your life difficult. <laughs> you had been an independent designer for quite a few years, yeah, and then you... Eight. <laughs> for eight years, and then just so, then the last two years you teamed up with uh, Renzo Rosso yeah. and his brand. What's the difference been like between being an independent and now having, you know, a group to support you? <laughs> well, I, I paid my dues as an independent designer. And it was uh, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. And I'm very proud that, you know, I managed to be a, a year self-financed without a biker, without uh, people financing me at all. And now I think I deserve a moment to sit and, uh, you know, dedicate myself to my craft, because that's what I like to do. I don't like to, I don't want to be a businesswoman. I have to. I like to do clothes. <laughs> The International Herald Tribune and the New York Times, this is Jessica Michaud at the Sofia Kokosalaki Show.